So here's an increasingly common scenario we see in Zoom rooms. Employees receive a meeting invite from an agency or a business partner, and they step into the conference room to take the meeting. Now, the meeting invite is configured for Microsoft Teams, but the meeting is in a Zoom room. And so today we're gonna to cover all the ways that we enable what we call interoperability, or interop for short, within Zoom software on Logitech devices. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Craig Ishii, Solutions Marketing with Logitech. So let's talk a little bit about interop. Now, we've covered this topic before, but we have a few new features to point out today. So let's first set the stage. First, we know that companies love the power of Zoom rooms. When an employee wants to use a conference room, they don't have to run the meeting from their laptop. Instead, they can run that meeting from the room. But you also get room booking, meaning that you can schedule meetings to the room. And more importantly, you can use our one touch join feature that'll be right here on the tap to join the meeting. And probably most importantly, you get a host of camera controls here for the user so that they can run a virtual meeting where everyone is represented. But now let's talk about the need case just a bit more. Even if a company is using Zoom as their primary video platform, they're still gonna have a number of use cases where their employees need to meet virtually on say a Google Meet or a Microsoft Teams. And so companies need to have the capability to meet across different platforms. And we call this interoperability. So how do we do this in a Zoom room? Let's explore all of our options. Okay, so let's talk about interop in a Zoom room. As one of the first and easiest options, all we have to do is take a look at the screen here on the tap. And if you look at the bottom, there are gonna be three options for Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and WebEx. Now, this is what we call our ad hoc option. You're just gonna click the icon, you're gonna enter the meeting credentials, and then you're all set. But I wanna spend a bit more time talking about what you're gonna see on the left side of the tap when you schedule meetings. And this is what we call direct guest join. It allows you to schedule a meeting, declare the room, but also host that meeting on a different platform other than Zoom. Then the meeting is still gonna appear here on the tap device. But if you look closely at the meeting invite, you're gonna see that it's actually, in our example, a Microsoft Teams meeting. And so what that means is that when I click start meeting, instead of starting a Zoom meeting, this room will join the meeting within Microsoft Teams. So I'm still gonna be utilizing this as a Zoom room, but I'm gonna be able to meet cross-platform. And of course, it's worth calling out the cross-platform features that Zoom provides. So once you join the meeting, you're gonna have meeting controls provided on the tap so you can control the volume, mute, adjust the camera. We also have options to present content as well. But it's important to make just one more call out here. This direct guest join feature that we talked about where the schedule appears here on the left, it's not just available within our rally bar line of products or PC and Mac based rooms, but it's also available on Logitech's roommate device. And that's this device right here. And so roommate is gonna be one of the ways that you can upgrade your room from a BYOD room to a Zoom room running on Logitech's CollabOS operating system. Now it's also one of the ways to move your PC deployment over to appliance, again, running on Logitech's CollabOS operating system. And so that is software-based interop in a Zoom room. Whether you've got one of our rally bar products or a roommate, Zoom and Logitech have enabled several options that just make the room a lot more flexible. And that, like we always say, is the magic of Zoom and Logitech. Welcome to the new Logic of Work. 